Hi friends, welcome back to day three of our problem of the day. Just like we've been doing, I'm gonna tell you the problem two times and then you'll get to pause the video and tell me the problem that you just heard. All right, I planted 36 carrots in my garden. A rabbit came in and ate 12 of my carrots. And I wanna know how many carrots are left in my garden. I'm gonna say it one more time. Listen for those special words that are gonna help you solve the problem. I planted 36 carrots. A rabbit came in and ate 12 of my carrots. And I wanna know how many carrots are left in my garden. Pause the video right now and tell me the problem that you just heard. Great, now that you've been able to say the problem out loud and talk about it, you're gonna act it out using a tool. You're gonna pause the video and use your tool at home to solve this problem. Come back and press play once you've solved the problem with your tool. Now that you've solved the problem with your tool, you're gonna to watch how Ms. Vanderpool would solve the problem with her tool. I'm gonna to move the camera down so you can help me count. So very first in our problem, I heard that I planted 36 carrots. That means I'm gonna count out 36 pieces of cereal to represent those carrots. Count with me. Oops. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, oops, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Wow, lots of carrots. Then in my problem, I heard that a rabbit got into my garden and he ate 12 of those carrots. That means I do not have them anymore. So I need to get rid of 12 of my pieces of cereal just like my rabbit ate 12 of my carrots. Count with me while we take 12 pieces away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So I took away 12 pieces of cereal to represent those 12 carrots that that nasty little rabbit ate of mine. Then my, prob my story wanted to know how many carrots do I have left? That means I need to count the carrots that are left in my garden. Help me count the carrots that are left in my garden. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There are still 24 carrots left in my garden. Now that we figured out how many carrots are in my garden, you need to pause the video and represent on your whiteboard or your paper exactly what you did with your tool at home. Once you're done representing, hit play on the video and see if you if your representing, representation matches Miss Vanderpool. Great, so now that you've had a chance to represent on your own at home, watch how Ms. Vanderpool represents what she did. So I know that I started by taking out 36 pieces of cereal to represent my 36 carrots. So I'm gonna draw 36 circles on my whiteboard. Please help me count, that's a big number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 
26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, almost there, 34, 35, and 36. So I have my 36 circles to represent those 36 pieces of cereal or carrots that I was talking about in my story. Then I took away 12 pieces of cereal to represent the 12 carrots that that rabbit ate. So I'm gonna cross out 12 of my circles. Count with me while I cross out 12 of my circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I've crossed out those twelve circles. We don't have those carrots anymore. So just like I've been doing in a different color, I'm going to go back and fill in how many carrots I have left in my garden. We counted how many pieces of cereal I had left over, so now I need to label those, my circles that are left over, with numbers. So I'm gonna start here with this first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Just like always, I'm going to put a big box around my answer so that when people are looking at my problem, they can see exactly what I did. So I see that I had 24 carrots left over in my garden. Now I need to write a number sentence to match that. I want you to stop the video and write a number sentence to match your representation. And when you're all done, come back and see if your number sentence matches mine. Great. Now that you've written your own number sentence, we're going to see if yours matches mine. So I know I started with 36 carrots in my garden. Move this up a little bit. 36 carrots in my garden, so I the first number I'm going to write is 36. Then I know that, that that rabbit ate 12 of those carrots. He took them away, so I need to write a minus sign because I am taking something away. He took away 12 of the carrots, so I need to write a number 12. And then that left me with 24 carrots left in my garden. I had 24 carrots left in my garden. My number sentence says 36 minus 12 equals 24. Read it with me. 36 minus 12 equals 24. The very last thing I'm gonna do and that you should be doing at home is adding some words to our representation. So I know that we have 36 carrots. And then I know that we have 24 carrots left. That's how many were left in my garden. So now that I've filled in all my numbers, drawn all my circles, I wrote a number sentence, and I wrote some words, my problem of the day is all set. Come back tomorrow for a new problem.